All right, hey everyone, I'm Samuel. Um, I'll be your trainer uh, for AWS Solution Architect. Uh, let me talk about me after some time. Uh, let me get you introduced with the uh, certifications available with AWS and uh, the type of certification that we will be picking and what covers in that certification. And then I'll tell you my expertise, my uh, I mean the, the work I've done with AWS migration provisioning and all that stuff so <clears throat> so to begin with there are multiple certifications in the cloud now cloud is the talk of the town and uh, we will be starting with the associate level all right and I hope just a quick check I hope my audio uh, and the video that I'm sharing is clear enough for everybody all right uh, so uh, uh, we will be uh, starting with Solution Architect uh, Associate level. Now there are new certification introduced by Amazon Cloud Practitioner. This is really for non-technical or semi-technical like pre-sales and uh, you know somebody who's fully into people management or management or a, even in finance and they want to know about cloud so they can do their work better. All right, so it's for them. But any uh, technical personnel. Uh, they would be picking Solution Architect Associate and will move way up. All right, so this is where we stand. Let's talk about the roles and responsibilities of the responsibility of the Solution Architect Associate. All right, roles and responsibilities would include designing and highly designing and deploying and highly scalable and fault tolerant system in AWS. An environment that's highly available if something goes down I still have another complete environment to run with and then highly scalable environment uh, meaning as and when more requests comes in my environment should sort of expand itself based on the request right based on the load that's coming in and our responsibility would be to build that type of environment and uh, uh, the course curriculum and the job responsibilities will include um, a lift and shift and uh, shift and existing or on-premises application into AWS. We will do labs on this. We will learn about it, and we will uh, talk and learn about how to get data into the cloud and how to get data out of the cloud. All right, that's something we will learn, and there are a lot of services available on Amazon. There are like 140 services. Let me quickly show the console. All right. There are like 140 services available in uh, Amazon. All right. These are all the services uh, available in Amazon. And uh, some of them do the same thing with a minor difference between uh, the other service. All right. So we will talk about how to pick the right service for the need. All right, how to pick the right service for the need based on cost, based on the requirement, based on the SLA, based on uh, the RTO, uh, stuff like that. How can I pick or how to pick the right service? That's something that we will talk about. And uh, some best practices advised by Amazon itself, right? That's good for you to follow. Uh, so you don't have to learn the hard way, right? Uh, so that's something we will discuss in the course curriculum and of course yes the costs that would be involved uh, in uh, running an application in the cloud so we will talk about how to foresee a cost and if I include another service how much roughly it's going to cost uh, to run into the cloud and uh, a bit more discussion on moving from uh, capex to opex type of uh, environment now uh, if the bill is go going to be on a monthly basis instead of you know we doing heavy spending initially purchasing a lot of equipment and setting things up so it's going to be different so uh, how to sort of get adapted ourselves to the uh, new type of um, uh, costing model so that's something we will discuss in the course curriculum all right so we help uh, get certified all right and we help with um, uh, with any of the project constraints that you might have it's an 45 hours training that's what we have planned all right and uh, uh, every uh, new batch will have something new in it all right so it's it's a 45 hours training and initial 30 hours instructor led training is uh, is for you to get certified right and we follow Amazon's official curriculum and we get you certified 
we, we train, we give enough lab, we give you enough hands-on. Every alternate day it will be a lab, right? On the first day it will be theory and lab session done by the trainer and the second day you will be doing it and uh, you will go through some issues and everybody can talk about it, stuff like that. And it's going to be a very interactive session. Everybody would have like a lot of questions that would help others. So that's how it will be. So this is for the first 30 hours, all right? And then we have another 15 hours, all right? And this is where we would discuss about uh, my experience. This is where you, we would discuss about your experience. You know, some of them uh, would be in a project that's uh, getting migrated. Your application might get migrated, all right? So you can bring them in, and everybody will talk about it. Right, as long as it's not uh, company confidentials. So we will bring that in and we will talk about it. Uh, and we will try to solve them and we do solve them. All right. Uh, so let's uh, let's say you know your project is getting migrated and you're stuck up somewhere and uh, you need some additional hands uh, to sort of work and fix on it. I mean fix it. So you can bring that discussion in and we will be talking about it and we will help you with how to go about uh, finding a solution yourself and we would be the additional hands that you would need at that time so that's the course all about all right and uh, it's going to be a recorded session towards the end we will give you a recorded session let's say uh, you were less attentive on a particular day for some reason and um, you think uh, uh, you, you want to go back and uh, refresh it you have a recording uh, which you can play back this is not possible on uh, uh, classroom training or on-premises classroom training. Uh, so there are some advantages, and we fill we we filled with those advantages for you. All right. So talking about the products that the products in specific. All right. Talking about products in specific, uh, we'll train you, or, or you will be trained on Amazon uh, cloud environment, Amazon compute uh, resources in general. All right. With the different options available, cloud storage cloud database, cloud uh, network, all right, and uh, uh, security in the cloud, and then application integration in the cloud, all right, and management tools for monitoring, monitoring the cloud. So these are the different products. You will get enough hands-on, and you will be doing projects, and there are project submissions, um, you know, every week or every alternate day. Uh, so that's how uh, it's going to be and uh, we will also be sending notes towards the end of the uh, session so you don't have to spend time you know, picking a paper and writing things yourself we will send you notes so we will be sending you crisp notes that you can use to refresh uh, practice they are lab as well as theory notes that you can use to refresh practice and uh, uh, and appear for the exam or appear for the interview confidently or Go back and sit in your seat in office very confidently, uh, taking up new cloud challenges. Right? That's what we train you with. And like I was saying, uh, we train you on um, the official curriculum, right? As guided by Amazon. Uh, if you have questions about how much the exam fee is going to be, the exam fee is like uh, one fifty dollars, and we will have some sixty-five questions to. Um, 65 questions to attend and try and the time to complete the exam is 130 minutes all right and we train you enough uh, so you can confidently appear for the exam and uh, get it clear all right all right so let me talk about me a little bit Just a moment. Is that the PDF version? Yes. So I've got like 14 years of uh, 14 plus years of experience. I come from the system side, and uh, that's uh, an advantage uh, for me to 
learn infrastructure as a service which which is what AWS is to the most part all right and uh, the last company I was working with and the last two companies I was working with you know we did extensive projects on AWS and uh, more specifically the last company I was working with uh, uh, we were a partner with Amazon and Azure we were helping uh, Amazon and Azure customers to build uh, build cloud environments both in uh, Amazon as well as in our environment the hosting.com was the company I was working with and uh, that had its own cloud environment so we were helping customers to have uh, uh, on-premises and cloud and multi-cloud environment so that's how I got involved more into cloud migrations cloud environment building cost estimates stuff like that and uh, uh, training is something that I've been doing for a while uh, for the past 13 years maybe um, and back then I was training in networking uh, and network security a bit on Linux that was before uh, to, 10 years maybe and I've been doing that since then and lately I started training on uh, for the past uh, four or five years maybe I started training uh, people on cloud both uh, within the company and outside the company you know I, I was working closely with the training department uh, so I, I get to train them in-house and uh, outside uh, uh, retail and corporate trainings as well right so that's about me uh, any questions Any questions, anybody? Right, and uh, we extensively talk about, right, we extensively talk about different products, right, and uh, I mean, with all due respect, I'm going to assume that uh, you know nothing about the cloud, that's due for your benefit. Right, you know nothing about the cloud, and uh, the training basically starts with what is cloud computing, and then uh, fundamentals of AWS and stuff like that, and then we gradually build uh, one uh, on top of another, and finally uh, we will talk about uh, the architecture. All right, initially it's going to be a basic soft cloud, and then different products available in the cloud, the storage, networking, application integration products available in the cloud. And uh, finally, uh, we're going to help you, uh, you know, build a proper architecture in the cloud. And the architecture, to some extent, is going to look like this. So the architecture is going to look like this with the DB environments in active passive mode and your web environment uh, which can which is very much scalable you know based on the load additional nodes will be added and then it will release those nodes when the load goes low and then we would have a network component elastic load balancer and DNS services so all of them put together this is really not and uh, uh, tool training this is really not a uh, particular language training where end-to-end -end you talk about just one thing you know be it Java or be it not dot net in you know, end-to-end you simply start you, you simply talk about one thing so this is really not a tool training this is architect level training so we will be talking about um, all the components in an infrastructure in this case in the cloud infrastructure starting from uh, compute you know starting from storage the basics uh, network you know web server DB server DNS services and different types of storage available uh, for the different types of data you know one size won't fit all so different types of data and different types of storage is available uh, and DNS service and uh, uh, and uh, edge services cloud edge services or CDN or right, caching service uh, present worldwide by Amazon 
right? So we'll be talking about them. And this architecture still does not include centralized logging and centralized monitoring. That is something we will also talk about. So it's not a tool level training, it's an architect level training. So you'll be talking about all the components present in the cloud environment, right? And one question I often get asked is, do I need to have uh, Linux skills to learn AWS? No, you don't need to have. If you have, well and good. If you don't have, you're still good, all right? And uh, the other question that I get asked is, um, do I need to have programming knowledge? Uh, again, the answer is not really. If you do have well and good, that will benefit you. And if you're planning to learn it at a later part, uh, that will benefit you. Uh, cloud and DevOps goes really well. You know, uh, people ask me. I mean, I'm planning. I'm on the DevOps side. Can I pick cloud? Yes, very much. Uh, they they really work together. So let me show you some of the job opportunities and uh, what's what's the demand in the industry as of now. And you you really can. I would encourage you really do it. You really do this exercise yourself at some point. Uh, so you really would pick uh, what uh, is suitable for you, all right? So this cloud environment sort of merges really well with all technologies, all right? Uh, programming, uh, backup, um, and um, you know testing, all right? Designing it it really merges well with all technologies. All right. Now look at that. Look at some of the cloud. Uh, I mean, look at some of the designations. Architect and uh, QAQC, uh, QAQC engineer, uh, Linux system administrator, Windows administrator, programmers, AWS plus .NET works well, AWS plus Java works well. Right, so this really complements your existing skill. Let me conclude that. This really complements your existing skill. So you don't have to unlearn everything and then uh, try this try this something new no it, it's not that uh, it really complements your existing skill you, you being a Java developer you being any other developer you've worked on any other language it really complements your existing skill be it Linux yes it complements Windows yes it complements .NET Java yes it complements testing environment yes it complements that's how it is All right and as we speak there are like well, let me see how many jobs do we have so as we speak, there are that many jobs available for AWS, right? And uh, the top companies, the top companies that are recruiting AWS professional, Accenture is on the top because Accenture is a technology partner. Just like other companies that you see in the list, they are technology partners uh, with Amazon and uh, they help other customers migrate, they help other customers uh, provision their environment in the cloud so that's why there are huge openings on those companies all right and what you would find interesting is the industry all right back then if you want to work in IT you really need to work on an IT company which does developing which does supporting stuff like that all right now that has changed now uh, because managing IT through AWS is and is easy uh, companies, you know, product-based companies or other companies which were back then outsourcing their IT environment are looking to have their own IT team because management is taken care of by Amazon and uh, the, the IT overhead, the IT management is sort of cut in half. You still have complex work to do, but uh, some of the repetitive mundane tasks are sort of uh, automated in the console itself that we will learn at a later point. So what I'm saying is uh, the companies like... Um, uh, look at this. And automobile companies are looking uh, to have their own IT team. Oil and gas, medical healthcare, they're looking to have their own IT team, own uh, AWS professionals uh, working or sitting in their office and and working. All right. So, uh, anybody looking forward to work on uh, product-based companies, the environment will be really good in product-based companies. Those who worked uh, should be able to say yes along with me. Uh, so that's that's a good option uh, to move into a product based companies because yes they are hiring AWS professional because IT has been simplified by the introduction of uh, AWS and Azure the cloud providers all right 
and just one more thing before I conclude. All right. All right. Just a random search. Now, AWS is one of the top, one among the top 10 certifications in 2018 as well. I say as well because it's been keeping its position in top 10 for many years now. All right. So, yeah. So, uh, it, it, I mean, in your le leisure time, anytime you find time, I would recommend this. Go to your favorite um, uh, job search engine and do a quick search, AWS plus whatever skills that you're good at, and uh, you will get to know the job roles and responsibilities that AWS offers. Now, there is no one job role and responsibility. If there was one, I would have shown you. There is no one job roles and responsibilities. Now, cloud is the new name for IT. So anybody who have worked in IT, they will be able to find a similar role in AWS cloud environment. And like I said, the existing skills will complement and they will have to learn some new skills and sharpen uh, their knowledge and, and sort of uh, glamour fetch their existing skills with the cloud tools and technologies and that would make them uh, to be a very successful successful person in the uh, cloud environment all right so that's all I had uh, if you have any questions uh, please feel free to ask we can stay back and discuss about it you might have concerns questions uh, just shoot it out <laughs>